Okay, so Blocks Roots has a lot of normal NPCs and a lot of secret NPCs that you might not know about. So today we're going to go over every normal NPC and also every secret NPC within the first seat. Let's go. Okay, so starting with the pirate village, we obviously have the Blocks Fruit Dealer. Now, this guy, we all know what he does. He sells you some amazing fruits, but he also sells you, most likely, most of the time, some really bad fruits. We also have a Sword Dealer here too. He will sell you the Katana and the Cutlass. And we have one last NPC I actually want to talk about, and that is the Marine Recruiter. In case you're a pirate and you don't want to leave the game and swap, you can go to this guy and swap to be a Marine. All right, so with Middletown, we've got a couple of NPCs you probably might not have known about. But the first one is, of course, going to be the Weapon Dealer. He will sell you a bunch of guns. They're all pretty useless, apart from the Slingshot, which will allow you to group up enemies, which is kind of nice. And if you head over here into this little house over here, you can see there's two NPCs. The first one is the Aura Editor. You've probably noticed that my Haki only covers a little bit of my body, but you can actually change that with the Aura Editor. Let's just say that you wanted the Haki to cover all parts of your body. I could change it to stage five, and now as you can see, I'm fully covered in it. Personally, I don't really like that though, so I'm gonna swap it back. The next one is going to be the Robot Mega. Now, Robot Mega is a NPC that allows you to upgrade your Dark Blade from V1 to V2. So he is important if you do have the Dark Blade Game Pass. Now, if you guys somehow know about every single one of these NPCs, like honestly, even the secret ones I'm about to show you, leave a comment because I'm genuinely kind of impressed. All right, so obviously the Jungle Island only has one NPC and that is going to be the Blocks Fruit Gatch. Uh, obviously, I'm going to roll as well, see if we get a little bit lucky. That is literally the worst fruit in the game. Okay, so the next one is the Pirate Village and I think this one might trip you guys up a little bit if you haven't played the game too much because there are actually like two secret NPCs technically on this island. The first one, of course, is going to be the Sword Dealer. Now, you guys probably know about this one. Super easy to find. He will sell you the Dual Katana and the Iron Mace as well. The Dual Katana being the much much better option, trust me. Now, over on the far side, there's actually a rich man NPC, and he is part of the Saber Quest. Now, you probably know about him too, if you've got the Saber Sword especially, but uh, yeah, he's not too rare, he's not too hard to find. But the secret NPC on this island is definitely going to be the Dark Step Teacher. If we go through this little door right here, there is a guy right here who will sell us the Dark Step Fighting Style for, I think, 150,000, and it is a great fighting style if you're starting out, and you might not have known about that. Okay, so moving over to the desert, there is actually one secret NPC on this island, and he is kind of tucked away. I didn't even know about this until like relatively recently when I did a hide and seek stream. If you come across to the pyramid, you can actually go down this little hole and then go across over here and then jump up. And there is a secret shop in here. This NPC will sell you the swordsman hat. So in case you're leveling up and you're using swords, I highly recommend you grab yourself the swordsman hat. It is kind of expensive though for $150,000, but definitely worth it if you're using a sword. You might not know this, but I'm trying to reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year and your subscribing would actually help quite a lot so I would appreciate it if you would hit that red button down below and consider subscribing. Okay so the next one is the Frozen Village and there actually are quite a few NPCs on this island so the first one of course is going to be the Sword Dealer right here. He sells you the Triple Katana and the Pipe Take the triple katana any day. The pipe is absolutely trash. The next NPC is right next to him, and that is going to be the sick man, also part of the Saber Sword quest. On the other side of the town to that guy is going to be this little NPC. That is going to be the doghouse rip Indra, and that is also part of the Dark Blade V2 quest, in case you have the Dark Blade. And the last NPC is, of course, going to be in this cave, one of the most important NPC in the entire game. Well, actually, the last two NPCs, technically. This guy right here, the Ability Teacher, he will sell you the three basic abilities that you absolutely must have in Blocks Roots, the Air Jump, the Aura, and the Flash Step. And of course, over here is obviously the Color Specialist as well, in case you want to change your Haki color to, let's say, I don't know, let's go to Rainbow. Now, when I switch my Haki, instead of it being white, it's actually going to swap different colors because I'm on the Rainbow Haki color. Very cool. Okay, so over at Marine Fortress, we've got one Weapon Dealer over here. He is going to sell you a bunch of the upgraded weapons from Middletown, so the refined slingshot, the refined flintlock, and the cannon as well. 
all completely useless in my opinion, but they're there if you want them. Then there is actually one secret NPC on this island. If you go across to this tower right over here, which I just gapped over, and you go actually down this little hole right here in the tower, there will be this NPC right here, which will sell you a amazing accessory that is called the Black Cape that will increase your damage by 5% and it's really cheap. It's like 50k. Okay, so the next one is the Lower Sky Island. So the Lower Sky Islands has a couple of different NPCs as well. If you go to the bottom half, come across all the way to the edge over here, there is an NPC called the Mad Scientist and he will sell you the electric fighting style in my opinion. It is the best fighting style that you can buy inside of the first C. I definitely recommend this fighting style. But if you come further up over here, there is actually another secret NPC that will sell you a really good accessory for all those block shoot users. And his name is Yoshi. And as you can see, if you talk to him, he will sell you this ring for 500,000. It is very expensive, but it does increase your block shoot damage, which is great. And there is one last NPC on here as well. And he will sell you possibly one of the best weapons inside of the entire first C over here at the Master Sword Dealer. He will sell you the dual headed blade, completely useless, don't buy that, but the Bicento. Now this thing is very expensive at 1 million, but it is by far the best weapon inside of the first C in my opinion. Okay, so now over at the prisons, there's actually only one secret NPC here and he is all the way at the back. If I just go over here, I can't even really remember. There he is, I kind of forget sometimes. He is the remove blocks root user. So in case I didn't want my blocks roots, I can actually go over to him and just go, yep, here's $50,000, and now I have absolutely no block shroots. I mean, this is kind of useless considering I could just swap to any block shroots and just kind of remove the other one. I don't even really know why this guy exists. He barely gets used at all, but uh, he's here if you really want him for some reason. I don't know. Okay, so over at Magma Island, we actually have two NPCs. The first one is out in the open. That is going to be the Ability Teacher again. He is also at Magma Island. But then there is also a secret shop NPC somewhere located in between these walls. I actually kind of forget where he is sometimes because I never ever go here. There it is. There's the wall. You can speak to the living skeleton right here. And you can buy an item called the Soul Cane for a very, very cheap price of 750000 it is a pretty decent sword, but uh, honestly, I think the Bicento is a little bit better. But if you do want that weapon, it's there. Okay, so over at the underwater city, there is actually only one secret NPC here. If we head across all the way to the right side of the main boss arena, there is this little entrance we can go through and we can get the water kung fu fighting style. Now that fighting style is amazing if you're using the Buddha fruit, but otherwise I'd probably stick to the electric fighting style. But anyway, let's move on. Okay, so one of the most important NPCs is located right at the top of Sky Islands, or the upper Sky Islands, and that is going to be the Instinct Teacher right here. You can buy Instinct off him for a whopping 750,000, and it is pretty amazing. Obviously, it lets you dodge attacks, which is absolutely insane. So I definitely recommend you get your hands on that if you don't already have it. But there we have it, everybody. That is all the secret NPCs. Well, pretty much just every single NPC inside of the first C. If you knew all of these NPCs, leave a comment below and I'll see you guys next time.